people always want to know what are the best books for learning trigonometry. Trigonometry is, for most people, so much harder than algebra and pre-calc. So in this video, I'm going to give you three books that are excellent uh, for learning trigonometry. Let's start with the book here on top, which is awesome. It's called Algebra and Trigonometry. It's by James Stewart, Lothar Redlin, and Salim Watson. This is a used copy. I'm pretty sure there's a newer edition. And this book has everything, right? Everything you need to learn trigonometry. And it covers algebra and trigonometry. So it's also used for courses such as pre-calculus. So it starts with equations and inequalities. So quadratic equations, complex numbers, inequalities. So you have a lot of basic algebra. Let's jump to the trig. So here's where the trig starts. Trig functions of angles. Trig functions of real numbers. That's where it talks about the unit circle. Trig is tough because you really have to learn the first stuff you learn. Like when you first start the class, that stuff you learn at the beginning is really important. Analytic trigonometry, polar coordinates and vectors. And that would be it. So great for learning trig. Let me just show you some of the examples so you can see what they look like. Trigonometric equations, this is actually one of the hardest things uh, for people who take trig. It's solving trig equations. So you see the book does have a lot of examples. So you have one example here, which is pretty easy. 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0. That's pretty easy. In the page. And they solve all. They, so they find all. He finds all the solutions, right? They find all of them. That's cool. Then here's one with tangent squared. Then something about finding intersection points. They set sine equal to cosine. That's interesting. I remember having to do that uh, in an unrelated problem, and um, I didn't know how to do it. I remember it was a, it was a uh, complex variables class, so way more advanced uh, than trig, and I didn't know how to do that, and that's what held me up in the problem. So really, really good that this example is in the book. I don't know. brings back some memories of being stuck. <laughs> but you learn, right? It's all about learning. Lots of examples. Here's one where you have to use a trig identity. 1 plus sine x equals 2 cosine squared x. And here's one where you square it and use an identity. Wow. So lots of examples. Yeah, wonderful book. So that's one great book. Um, excellent. Just one of the best books out there. There's other good books. Here's an example of another good book. So this book here is a book that I bought used. And it's an instructor's edition of Algebra and Trigonometry by Michael Sullivan. I got this used a long time ago on the internet somewhere. And it has the same stuff that the Stewart book has. It just has different examples and slightly different exercises, so you get extra practice. I think it's nice having lots of books. As a person who collects math books, um, you know, I try to have, you know, at least one of every book if I can, but there's a lot of books that are really hard to find. This one is not, right? None of these books, or all of these books are pretty easy to find. I'll leave you a link in the description in case you want to check them out. So the format's a little bit different. It's got like different tables, different colors. But you see he has solutions. Find the exact value of each of the following. So the sine of 390. Cool. Right, really cool. Using some identities there. Then you have some exercises here. So another great book for learning trig. And the last one is a book that it's worth getting. It's the cheapest one of all of them. And it's a relatively new book. It's called Trigonometry, Essentials Practice Workbook with Answers, Master of Basic Trig Skills. So this does teach you trig. And he focuses on the important stuff, like the stuff you really need to know in order to like, you know, do well in the class and like pass tests. Um, let me show you the topics because it's really interesting. And he has answers to... Um, Everything. Yeah, so everything has answers. So here's the topics in this book. Converting degrees to radians, converting radians to degrees, identifying trig functions in right triangles, special right triangles. Here we go. This is what I love about this. Chapter five, memorize basic trig functions in quadrant one. Yes. Yes. That is the most important thing. That's exactly how I do it. And then finding the reference angle and then 
determining basic trig functions in quadrants two to four. So right there, chapters five, six, and seven, in my opinion, are the most important thing in this entire book. Like if you're gonna take away one piece of knowledge that's going to help you later, it's that. So you don't have to use your calculator for like simple things. You can just look at it and say, oh yeah, that's, you know, uh, that's gonna be pi over three, or that's gonna be, you know, the square root of three over two. So yeah, super useful. Inverse trig functions, law of sines and law of cosines learn and apply trig identities and then solving some algebraic uh, equations that involve trig functions and an answer key he has answers to every single problem not full solutions he's, he's really clever so whenever he has solutions like he'll put he'll put solutions here like if it says answers um at least when i've checked he just has the answers but if he says you know full solutions he's he's got the full solution so it's pretty cool you can write in this book also this is a workbook so it's different from the other book. It's got tons of exercises and examples. And it does teach you stuff. You see, he teaches you how to find the reference angle. He goes through it. And then, you know, you do some examples. And there's tons of examples, uh, more than what you would find in a regular book on these particular subjects. So that's kind of interesting. So that so that's something that you do get. I never really thought about it because, you know, it's just so many examples that, like, you don't even need that many, right? It's just a ridiculous number of examples. But... This book, in theory, like for these, for the specific things that he covers, um, in many cases, he has more examples than what you would find in a regular book on that specific topic. Those other books I was showing you earlier, the uh, Sullivan book and the book by Stewart, those books have more content, um, but and they have more varied examples, right? So, I mean, that's just a lot, right? Look at that. <laughs> it's just a lot of examples. It's one through 24, let's turn the page. Oh, look, again, 1 through 24 again. I mean, look at that. And then 1 through 24 again. I mean, it's just so many. 1 through 24, 1 through 24. It's just so many problems, right? 1 through 24, 1 through 24. Tons, tons. Anyways, those are some books for learning trig. Um, hopefully this has helped you. I'll, uh, I'll try to remember to leave links in the description. Trig is tough. Don't feel, you know, don't feel like defeated if you're taking trig and you're watching this video. Just don't feel bad if you're having a hard time. Um, Trig is tough. Trig is tough. I've known people that have taken trig and they've gotten like C's and they've gone on and they have risen from the ashes and they have done really, really well in other classes. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a tough one because it's different. And just my advice is right here, those, those first few things uh, in this book, right? What he says here, chapters, I think it was four. Yeah. Chapters uh, uh, five, six, and seven right there. That's, that's key. And then just know like the general shape of the unit circle so you can find, you know, the uh, the trig function values of the quadrantal angles like 0, pi, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, negative pi. Those you can look at the unit circle. But for the others, you just want to memorize quadrant 1 and use reference angles, I think. Anyways, enough trig talk. Um, those are just great books for learning trig. Hopefully this has helped someone out there who's struggling. Good luck.